good day to everyone so let's start where we left off on day part 2 so this is our main engine as I explained in my last video so we have 7 cylinders and the diameter of our piston is 80 centimeters and at the back part of course we have our exhaust manifold and our main engine turbocharger From the third deck, we'll now move down to the fourth deck. And in here we have our two central coolers. On the forward part, we have the COPT platform, which houses the two ballast pumps and uh, three COP. One TCP at the end of the platform. So this is our main engine, jacket freshwater heater, our central cooler pumps or our LT cooler pumps, our jacket cooling pumps or our HP cooling pumps. We have our auxiliary blower number one. piston spaces are and as you can see we are preparing for cleaning the under piston scavenging spaces and here we have our local maneuvering panel we are still in the fourth deck port side we have our oily water separator our fuel oil shifter heater and beside it is our fuel oil shifter pumps and we have our bilge primary tank so on the port side of the COPD platform so this is our tank cleaning pump turbine and as I said earlier our COPDs finally this one right here is our main auxiliary condenser which we primarily use during discharging operations where there's too much dumping of steam from the auxiliary boiler So we're done at the fourth deck, we're now going down into the bottom platform of the engine room so We're now here at the level of the crankcase doors of the main engine Here we, oh, we 
have our bilge pump and as I said earlier, this is one of the overboard valves located here at the bottom platform. So this one is the uh, soil overboard valve. Here we have the soft scrubber overboard valve. Third tube, header tank, and the forward seal tank of the third tube. So we go down at the bottom. Uh, we go down here at the tank top. But before proceeding to the tank top, uh, we, we pass by the main engine low oil pumps. Uh, so we have two low oil pumps, number one and number two, so on the other side. Have our stern tube lube oil pumps and the stern tube lube oil cooler. So this is the tank top and we have here our up build jewel. And located also here is the boiler water blow off valves. And here we have also another scrubber water overboard valve. So here we have the two lube oil feed pumps for the two lube oil purifiers. And in here we have the IG Dexil water pumps, number one and number two. And the fresh water ejector pump. So we're now moving into the forward part of the engine room. And these two pumps right here are the central cooling seawater pumps and the two overboard valves there are from the freshwater generator overboard and from the central coolers. So this big pump right here is the auxiliary condenser circulating pump and in here we have our MGPS. So on the starboard side, we have the high sea chest filter and of course the starboard wheel trail. And while proceeding into the port side, we pass by the FO filter drain tank and the FO drain tank shifter pump. Also, we pass by the auxiliary condenser, condensate pumps number one and number two. And the IG scrubber cooling seawater pump. Finally, we are at the port side of the bottom platform and we find our low sea chest filter and our low uh, our port side build shield. And also two overboard valves from the auxiliary condenser and from the fire NGS pump. So speaking of fire NGS pump, this is our fire NGS pump. And Beside it is the foreign bilge pump. And in here we have our, our fuel oil transfer pump and our diesel oil transfer pump. And an entrance to the escape trunk. So this is the lowest point or the lowest entrance to the escape trunk of the engine room. And it goes and there are other entrances in from the third deck and the so in here we have our scavenging drain tank and our stopping box drain tank and one of the most important overboard valves in the engine room the oily water separator overboard valve Finally, our stretch button. 